What is popping, y'all? Hope y'all doing great, doing fantastic, all that good stuff. Today, we're gonna go get this freaking haircut, hopefully. <laughs> we're gonna try to find somewhere. The place has been open for about uh, four days, three days, four days, I don't know what it's been. But we're gonna go try to get my haircut today and uh, go check the P.O. box and uh, a few other things, I guess, run around, do some errands. But uh, yeah, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'm just tired of this crazy hair. So I'm gonna go try to get it cut up. So let's go. All right, well, we're not getting our freaking haircut today. Uh, oh man, it, the sign says open and everything. I got up in there and I'm looking at the thing. I'm like, what the heck? I didn't know what time it was. It's 12.51. This guy's about to go get his, try to get his haircut too. He's gonna get uh, told the same thing I got told. They have to come in. You got it literally on the sign. It has like, if, you, if you're sick or anything like that, it says do not come in. And then on the other thing, it says um, walk in, sign in, leave. We'll contact you when your turn is. So, um, yeah, it's it's like, damn, okay, well. Oh, there's somebody else going there now, too. Literally two more people just walked up since I left. That's crazy. Yeah, the, the sign literally says open, so that sucks for that. Because it's like, they should flip the sign if they're closed or whatever and things. So, um, But, yeah, I guess they, they're literally open like 9 to 12 or something. Or, I don't know, appointments only or something. From them time, I don't know. You sign the sheet. The sheet gets filled up, I guess, pretty quick. And, uh yeah i didn't know that it was 9 to 12 or whatever the hours were so that's their last ones in there they had like three people getting their haircut they were the last ones out of everybody yeah there goes the guy right there he's going back ah it just sucks man it's like damn it i i don't i don't know i was really hoping to get my haircut today so and i don't really want to go down to any of the other places because i'm just like eh. but i'm i'm about to i'm literally to the point where i'm just gonna say screw it and go because uh I need a freaking haircut. So I look over and I see this right here. It says, don't give up on the sign. So you know what? I'm going to listen to that and I'm going to go down there and I'm actually going to go try and get another haircut. Hey, what are you doing in my shop? Get the heck out of the way. I'm going to go down there to the barbershop uh, or, or salon barbershop place and hope and pray they can get me in. Let's go. A few moments later. This is the stupidest thing I've ever literally seen in my life. They got literally got to make appointments like at this place. And it's like six weeks out. Like, I'm not waiting <laughs> six weeks to get my haircut. <laughs> like... It's just not gonna happen, y'all. Like, this is ridiculous, man. Like, the whole sh this whole stuff is literally so annoying, man. It's like, why in the world do we have to literally deal with this like this? It's so stupid. It's so stupid to me, man. Like, I understand that it's like a serious thing or whatever. You know, like, everyone's wearing masks. Everyone's taking it to, like, precautions and stuff like that. But, like, I don't understand the whole, let's, let's cut our hours to, like, half. Let's open at weird times. Let's... Like, I don't understand any of that. Like, I don't get that at all. It's so dumb to me. Like, literally, there's like a little tiny box you gotta stand in at this place. You walk in, you stand in this little tiny box. It's like, okay, cool, what's up? Like, I'm, I'm about eight feet, 10 feet from you. If I was to be sick or whatever, I just touched your door that you didn't sanitize when the next lady came in. And on top of that, I'm literally right there around the wall, no mask on, so I'm breathing on everything there. And uh, so then the next person comes in, stands in the box, they're sick, or someone before me was sick, standing in the box all around that area right there. They don't, they don't want to come over and sanitize. They, they, no, they don't. So that, or there's another thing. It's just like, this is such a joke, man. It's such a freaking joke, man. It, and it, it's all, it's just all bullshit. And for real, like, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm like, I don't even know. I'm just I'm not getting my freaking haircut because it's just so ridiculous, man. So I guess let's go to the P.O. box and see if we got anything in there. So we're back home now, and uh, I was going to do these tickets today, but I'm just really not in the mood to play tickets, and uh, so I'm going to wait until maybe tomorrow to do those. Um, but yeah, definitely be on the lookout for that. We did get some mail when I went over to the P.O. box, so I will open that in this video, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll go cut my hair because I just can't take it anymore. It's wild. So we're opening it now. This is for my buddy Rich from Florida, or not Florida, from uh, uh, California. So big shout out to Rich for hooking this up. He uh, sent us some, uh, sent us a ticket. See what it is here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we got some paper here. Oh my goodness. He sent us a big old $20 ticket. Look at that. Heck yeah. Looks like he, I don't think there's anything else in here. Let me check and see. Nothing else in the envelope, but he sent us a one big California 20, 2000 or 2020 ticket is what it's called. Hopefully we can get a big one on this one. Um, you know what? I don't really feel like scratching those ones, but I'll scratch this one on this video. So let's do that. <laughs> Let's uh, scratch this ticket and then we'll probably go cut this hair because this hair is wild. I just can't deal with it anymore. So here we go. Big $20 ticket right here. He sent it to me for my birthday to play and everything like that. 
Um, so this is ticket number 017, 017 or whatever you want to call it. So ticket 17, this is the uh, went up to five million dollars. Let's see what the odds are. Does it show the odds? Odds on the ticket is one in three uh, point zero zero. Uh, cash prize is one in four point two nine. Okay, that's whatever that means. Okay, <laughs> it's kind of weird because it's like it says odds to win any prize. Okay, odds to win any prize is that, and then odds to win uh, okay a free ticket. Oh, you can get a free ticket on this one. No way. One in four point two nine prize in this game range for free. T oh no. I forgot. California has free tickets, but I didn't know that. I I didn't think they gave them on the tw I, I I think I've said it before, but I I okay. Well, that's. That's wild. Okay, so technically you get a free ticket in this one if you. Okie dokie. <laughs> wow. All right. I, I completely did not even think about that, but I forgot California has fake lottery. Uh, they have free tickets and they have fake uh, multipliers just like we have here. So, anyways, you got 100, 250, 500, and 1,000 spot. You need to find, you need to uncover a 2020 symbol and you win that prize. We'll save that for the end. Move down here. We need to find uh, any match of any of our numbers with the winning numbers. With the winning numbers, we win. Um, get a ten times, twenty times, or fifty x uh, symbol, and you automatically multiplies it by that. Uncover a win symbol and win all twenty five prizes. So let's start right here. Let's see what we got. Our numbers are: we got eight, twenty seven, twenty nine, eighteen, forty four, forty five. 7 and 33 is the numbers we need to find or we need to find a symbol one of the two so come on let's see if we can get a match hopefully we get a win on this 19 11 17 24 32 one off and a 3 13 25 or 25 35, nope, 12, no 12, I don't see a 12 up there, 9, one off at us, 36, 22, 15, 14, two more rows, 21, 41, 39, 31, 26, a 2, a 43, we had one off, oh, dang it, okay, 34, we had 33, dang it, okay, and one off, us. 16, and for 2,500 bucks, 42, dang it, all right, we did not get that, so we got the top up here, though, can we find... 1,000, we're gonna get 1,000, we got a bone in there. Man, give me a bone so we can get a big old 500 right here. A ring, nope, we ain't gonna buy no ring. A chest, can we get 100 bucks right here, 100 bucks. And it's a key, a key for the chest, you get the money out the chest, you get the ring, and then you get boned. I guess that's how this ticket was. <laughs> we did not get a win on it, so hey, I appreciate you Rich for sending it out though, and uh, all that good stuff. So, uh, there's that, uh, 2020 ticket. I don't know if it's a new one or an old one, but we didn't win on it. I'm done with this hair. We got the hair trimmers. We got the whole kit, everything like that. We're cutting this hair off today. We're in the garage and we're cutting it up. Let's freaking go. All right, y'all. So now we're here in the shop. I don't think you guys have ever seen this angle before here on YouTube. So it's kind of crazy or really anywhere. So anyways, we're in the shop now. I got the hair trimmers. I'm going to take my freaking shirt off and I'm just going to start cutting at it because this is just crazy. I put a number two Number two, one fourth or whatever it says on there. We're just gonna go at it, hope and pray that it uh, comes out kind of decent. I don't know, I'm not even gonna fade it. I'm just gonna buzz it because I'm literally tired of it. Here we go. We're about to chop all this hair off. Got the, I'm gonna hit the turbo button even. This is up, so we're gonna get closer. It's gonna go right down the center of it, I guess. Oh my goodness, I don't even know if it's cutting it very well. Whew, it's working. Oh, it's working. The only problem is this thing here. I got I got very much uh, cord, so. This might be the new normal, y'all, to cut your own freaking hair. I don't even know. I'm just tired of it all. 
So I'm excited to literally cut my own hair, I guess. And just literally to get a haircut. <laughs> so much hair everywhere already. Yes. I got the old man haircut going on. It's so funny. Oh my goodness. Let's go right up the side here. Oh, snap. Well, either way, it's looking better than what it freaking did. Go from like this thing. I don't even know how to cut it, y'all. This is a mess. <laughs> Whew. Oh my goodness, so much freaking hair. We got most of it off, I think. Man, it looks so much freaking better already. I'm gonna uh, go get mom and I'm gonna have her like touch it up a little bit, make sure, because I can tell that there's like stuff. You guys can probably still on camera. It's a mess probably still in the back, so it's hard for me to get that back there, so I'm gonna go get her, have her come up and touch it up. So let's go get her. All right, mom, I need your help now. I uh, hey, did about good. the best I could do, so here we go, we gotta do. So, all right, I'm gonna need your help to help me kind of clean up the back of this a little bit. So mom's coming out to help us with this thing. I don't know what the heck we're doing. She's gonna come in, help clean up the back of it or whatever. There's mom right up there. She's coming out. And uh, so everyone that wanted me to let mom cut my hair, I guess you guys are kind of getting your guys' uh, way a little bit, I guess. So mom's here with the trimmers. How bad is the back? Uh, did I get pretty much all yeah, of it? Yeah, you so? did pretty good, only a couple spots. Okay, so mom's gonna clean up the back for me. So let me know what you guys think of it. Mom cut my hair and well, I cut most of it and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch this stuff up here. Mom, thanks for help touching it up. <laughs> Woo, I feel way better though either way. I think Blake's gonna take a shower outside. Need some shampoo, Blake? I'm trying to get all the hair off my head and uh, make sure it looks all right. I don't know. Woo, it looking all right? I don't know, hopefully it does. So let's figure out to use the garden hose. All right, so that's literally all my hair that was on my head. That's so much hair for me. It's unreal. Mom, how much to eat my hair? No way. <laughs> how many likes do we have to get for you to eat this? <laughs> I'll kill you all. <laughs> okay, so a million <laughs> likes and by the end of the month, and mom has to eat this hair. I'll find you $500 <laughs> <laughs> if you eat that hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mom says if, if we can get five, if I can go up 500 followers, mom. Mom will eat the hair. You eat it. <laughs> so yeah. Hey, who wants to see Blake eat that hair? Not me. I would die. <laughs> Ugh, that is Share, gross. like, fo follow. Come on, people. <laughs> yeah. He'll eat it. So 500 likes. Mom Blake will eat the eat hair. It. Mom will eat this hair at 500. All right. So I trimmed it up a little bit, made it look a little better, I think. And uh, I'm gonna jump in the shower now, and then uh, go from there. So let's go. Holy freaking crap, man! I feel like a literally a whole new person. It's just like, man, it feels so much better. But Gotta tell you something. This right here is the pimped out golf cart that we did on my channel oh, like a year ago. If you guys don't remember that video, it's my second most viewed video on YouTube. We took this ordinary golf cart and put rims on it, put the front bumper, headlights, turn, like side mirrors, new windshields, uh, um, whole dash, the whole carbon fiber dash, the whole like outlet plugs in here, uh, lights, every single thing. We put pretty much the new steering wheel on it, the body, um, we put so much stuff into this golf cart, right? Three times it's probably moved since we've tricked it out and put all this extra stuff on it and made it go a little faster and stuff. Three times probably. My parents took it out. Uh, they went on a trip or whatever. It was gone for maybe a couple days. They were out driving it around and when they went camping and stuff like that. Well, and ever since then, it's probably went down the road and back, down the road and back, maybe two or three times since then. So three to four times at max, this thing has probably gone anywhere since we've tricked it out. So today might be the day that we actually sell it. So it's kind of crazy. This, is, this day has literally gone everywhere. First off, I'm arguing about not getting a haircut. And I said, screw it. Ended up letting my mom and myself just cut this hair all off. And then now the golf cart might be getting gone. So uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, but 
This video literally, I don't know, if you guys haven't seen it yet, I'll link it in this video uh, where we tricked the whole golf cart out, but it's just crazy to me of how that video is about a year old. It's my second most viewed video now, and it's still growing like every day. It's like one of my most viewed videos. So definitely go see that video if you guys haven't watched it yet. Um, it's at like 20,000 uh, views or so. It's wild. So definitely, definitely, definitely go check this out. But yeah, I don't know what else we're doing. Uh, they're coming at like 4.30, so I'm going to have to get this video edited and stuff like that. I'll keep you guys updated if they buy the golf cart. They're coming to look at it today and everything. So uh, we don't know if they're going to buy it yet or not. So maybe today's the day, though. But I got to get this video out and edited and all that stuff like that. I think we did quite a few things all in all, though. Um, yeah, we did pretty much everything. Shout out again to my buddy uh, Rich out in California for sending the ticket. I appreciate you, man. Sorry I couldn't win on it for you. And uh, I don't know what we did. We'll just try to get a haircut, did the lottery ticket, talked about the golf cart, cut my hair, I think. I think that's about it. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Like I said, every single day, keep on keeping on. Don't let me bring it down. See you tomorrow. Peace.